Then was birth weight doubles by three month, B five months, C nine months, or it is D twelve months. Let's discuss first this question. The correct answer is five months. If you remember this chart, that at birth it is one x at Five to six months, it is two x. At it, one year, it is three x. At two year, it is four x. At three year, it is five x. I have told you that skip number four, skip number six. So at birth, it is x. At point five to point six months, it is one x. At one year, it is three x. At two year, it is four x. At three year, it is five x. And do not remember anything at four because four is an important milestone for the height of hundred centimeter. Five year, it is six x. Skip again six, seven year seven x, ten year ten x. So many question could be asked from this single slide. So please pay attention. It is very easy. You have to just remember it once, and you will never forget it. So correct answer is the birth weight doubles by the age of five month. The question number six was weight of the newborn quadruples by your options are a nine months, b twelve months, c two year, or it is. D three year. What is the correct answer? Now you should know. I have already told that it quadruples by the age of two years. So correct answer is two year. We have already discussed it. At two year it is four x. At three year it is five x. Four year to be skipped. Five year it is six x. Six years to be skipped. Seven year seven x. Ten year ten x. So your next question is. Infant body weight triples by tripled by. Your options are A five months, B eleven months, C two year, and D eighteen months. The nearest answer is eleven months. So option C is a correct answer. Again, the explanation will remain same. That at birth x point five months, it is one or two x, one year three x, two year four x, three year five x. So at around one year, eleven month to twelve months, it is three x. The question number eight: Weight of the child at three year is usually how many times of the birth weight? I think you should all know now. A is three, B is four, C is five, and D is seven. So correct answer is option C. That is five. We already discussed three year, five x, four year, six x. Sorry, three year, two year, four x, three year, five x. So at the three year, it is five times of birth weight. We have to skip number four and number six. Now the next question is normal gain in the length. Now the weight questions are over. We'll move to the questions regarding the length and the height. Normal gain in the length in a full term baby at first six months. You are knowing zero to three month and three to nine months. So you have to use that calculation for knowing the answer. If you have not gone through the series two, I insist please go through it. Link is in the description box as well as in the i button. Normal gain in the length in a full term baby at first six months. Options are six centimeter, B nine centimeter, C fifteen, or it is D twenty four. Correct answer is C fifteen centimeter. We'll explain in the upcoming slide how it could be a fifteen. We know that gain in the height, gain in the height in zero to three month is a ten centimeter. Correct. And between three to nine centimeter, three to nine months, it is ten centimeter. So these two things we are knowing, right? So between zero to three months, it is three point five centimeter per month. So first three month, the gain of the height is ten point five. Between three to nine months, it is ten centimeter. So it is around two centimeter per month. So two into three is six. So we have to just combine these two value ten point five plus six, around sixteen point five. So approximately fifteen is your answer. I hope you all understood. We have to just divide this two, and then we have to add the number. Question number ten: Height of a child is double the birth height at the age of. For that, you should know the height of newborn at the time of birth. Your options are A, one year; B, two year; C, three year; or it is D, four year. The correct answer is four year. I have told almost five times in this lecture that at four year it is century for the. Child at four year store somewhere in your brain that four year of the age hundred centimeter height. So correct answer is option D four year. If you take a question number eleven, 
increase in the height in the first year is by here it is given in percentage so a 40 percent b 50 percent c 60 percent or it is a d 70 percent correct answer is b 50 percent for that we should know what is the height at the time of birth so height at the time of birth is 50 right and at the one year it is 25 so total gain of height is 25 centimeter so how many percentage of the birth it is it is 50 percentage if if the child is having 50 centimeter of the height at birth and it gained 25 centimeter in a year so how many percentage is if it is a 50 and 25 then what is there in 100 100 into 25 divided by 50 so it is 50 percent it is simple math so question number 12 average gain of length in the first year again it's a repetition of the question that a 25 centimeters b 28 c 50 or it is d 75 correct answer is 25 we all know that in by the age of one year child gain the height of 75 60 at three months and 78 9 months 98 2 year and 100 at the age of 4 year you have to remember these four numbers in your mind 50 60 70 75 90 and then 100 now question number 13 a normal healthy child has a height of 100 centimeter and weight of 16 kg what is most likely age whenever you see the 100 one number should strike you in your mind in reference to height because we have discussed it so many times so options are 3 year b 4 year c 5 year and d 6 years we'll discuss how does it ended up with the option b 4 year we all know that 4 year height is of 100 so that is correct again we have to double check with the weight that expected weight between 1 to 6 year the formula what you are using is 2x plus 8 so if we are putting x as a we are putting x we need to know the x so we are putting 16 here 16 by 8 8 is equal to 2x so x is again 4 so by both the method if you take a weight of 16 kg or you are taking a height of 100 centimeter by both the mean the age which is coming from this formula is 4 years so correct answer is 4 years the next question is the rate of increase in the hc in the first three months we have this also remembered in a very easy way again i insist please go through series 2 video options are 2 cm a month 1 cm a month 0.5 cm a month or or it is a 0.25 cm a month your correct answer is 2 cm a month 0 to 3 3 to 6 0 to 3 3 to 6 and 6 to 12 2 cm a month 1 cm a month and 0.5 cm a month after that yearly between uh, sorry monthly 0.2 between 1 to 3 and 3 to 5 it is 1 cm per year Question number 15, 19% of the brain growth is achieved by this is repetition of the question and I should say you all should know if you are all gone through my previous three lectures. Options are second year, B third year, C fifth year or it is D twelfth year. Correct answer is B third year. You need to remember this statistics by seven by one year 72% of the adult size and brain volume is achieved and by third year it is 90% of the adult size or a brain volume. Question number 16, in anthropometric assessment, which does not show much change between the age of 1 to 4 year. Specifically, I have not included the concept in growth to series because this is independent answer and the explanation is independent from the rest of the concept. So, what were the options? Medium circumference, B skin fold thickness, CC versus HC ratio or it is a height. So, let's see what could be the answer. Which measurement does not change? Between the 1 to 4 year, the correct answer is A, mid-arm circumference. How it could be? If you see, it is measured between 6 months to 5 year. We all know that. And during 1 to 5 year, mid-upper arm remains reasonably same. Because healthy children, the fat of the early infancy is replaced by the muscle. As child grows, between 6 months to 5 year, all the fat is replaced by the muscle. So, it's it stays static between 15 to 17 centimeter that's why it is the only criteria between the age of 1 to 5 4 year which remains static 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन इन अल्दी चाइल्ड हेड एंड चेस्ट सर्कम्फरेंस इक्वल्स इच अदर एट द एज ऑफ थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ्स बी सिक्स टू नाइन मंथ्स नाइन टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स और इट इज डी ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन मंथ्स इट इज वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर द करेक्ट आंसर वी ऑल नो इट इज नाइन टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स इफ यू अटेंडेड सीरीज टू यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन करेक्टली रिमेंबर ओनली थ्री थिंग एट बर्थ एच सी इज बिगर दैन सी सी At one year they equal. At one year HC is equal to CC. But after the one year, the CC takes over the HC and it will become bigger. It will be same as a adult proportion. So our correct answer is nine to twelve months. All our unique feature of WHO growth charts, two thousand six except. Please read it carefully. Unique feature. All of them are unique except which is not unique. We have to select breastfed infants as a normative growth model. B. Sample collected from the six states in the U.S. C. Includes new indicators such as skin fold thickness. D. Retreats children grow similarly across the globe. So correct answer is B. I mean, the answer which was wrong was B. It was not collected from the states of US. It was multi-centric growth reference study, and it was conducted in six country, which include India as well as U US. Those were all breastfed, and they all received the adequate nutrition and medical care. So rest all were incorrect. If you see, the breastfed child was taken. It in that included also skin fold thickness. it has a reiterates the children grow similarly across the world because it is taken from the six different countries so what was not a unique feature this was not a unique feature it was not a unique feature that it was not from the us only it was six different countries of the globe that conclude growth mcq video number 4 that is keys of mcqs i hope you all understood and learnt well your concepts are now more clear you will be able to answer all the mcqs as well as the questions with too much of confident i would like to know your suggestion for improvement of my topic as well as please let me know what else you would like to learn from me if you have yet not subscribe please subscribe my channel please hit like to this video Stay connected. Upcoming video will be growth series three. That will be bone age and dentition. I am very much sure that if you go through that bone age and dentition, you are going to remembering it for the lifetime. So stay connected. Take care of yourself. Study hard as well as study smart. Bye.